free cash flow yeah. money available for debt reduction remains the Chimera. Packaging is necessary. Well, oh, thank you, Bambi. It is necessary to examine all alternatives, report back to me as soon as possible. Sincerely, Gavin Corbett, et cetera, et cetera, right? Right. Thanks, Carol. Now, what about this breakfast meeting tomorrow? 8 a.m. the Regal Hotel. No, too far. Make it to Hillcrest. That way I can... Johnson uh, in by 9.30. Done. Yeah. Your 10 o'clock with Rogers has been bumped until 10.30. Well, fill the time. Call Bentley. Already have. See if we can do the Paris numbers in 27 minutes. Right. 2.56. I'm already behind schedule. Oh, traffic will be bad. Well, no. You know what? I checked with RushHourReport.net. I have devised a perfect route. Huh. Lenny, I need 500 of these pulling it on my desk in the morning. Yes, sir, Mr. Corbin, sir. Change sincerely to best regards, Gavin. Mm. Best regards. That's much better. Yeah, a little more polite to the English. Overcoat. Yep. pretty together, don't I? Yeah, well, this was six months ago. Before, well, before everything changed. <laughs> Listen, I don't care what maintenance said, these elevators are slowing down. I want a study done. Mm, I'll do that. Call that traffic service. I want heads to roll. Ridiculous. Try to get me my wife, please. Virginia, sweetheart, listen. I'm behind five guys in search of a pipe here. It's been 10 minutes I've gone two blocks. At this rate, I'm going to be at least 16 minutes late. Can you be a little more specific there? You know what she wants? Nope. All she said was it was going to be a big surprise. You know I can't stand surprises unless I know what they are in advance. And I wish he hadn't picked 4 o'clock. It's prime calling time for Tokyo. Really? I thought 5 o'clock was prime time for calling Tokyo. So you're ready, right? Uh, yeah, right. I'm standing by the door, honey. Well, just wait outside the house. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll be at Tokyo calling. Sato! Garantan! Ah, uh, mushi mushi Sato. Yeah, no, the whole problem. Swedish wife of yours. Oh, look, 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 we're all tied to Nikkei. Do I get a dollar soft there that we just, uh, well, convert to Deutsche Marks or something? Sato, listen, listen, calm down. Sato, listen to me. Hey, who says I don't have to the end? All right, good. Thank you. Bye. Carol, 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 get me uh, Hong Kong. Well, give me somebody. I'm trying to stop the decline of Western civilization as we know it here, okay? I'm waiting for Virginia. Hi. Hi. I'm glad you took the smock off, you know? It's a little avant garde. Thank you. Oh, Paulo. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so listen. How's Madrid? Buenas dias. What? Oh, well, Buenas noches then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just Berkeley. I'll read it in. Good job. You said promo. Good. Right there, look. Turning it off. No more calls, I promise. Good evening. Yeah. Next two minutes and 17 seconds. Give me that. What? Give me that. Corbett's. Uh, we're meeting our daughter here, wondering if she's arrived yet. Your daughter, I'm not here yet. I'm sorry, but I can sit you if you like. No, I got a table. I antiqued it myself. It's spectacular. You antiqued it yourself? Yes, I antiqued uh -huh. it myself. Because people are going to be jealous, but it's beautiful. View of the kitchen, spectacular. Throw the flambe, it goes. <laughs> you'll see, you'll like. Madame? Thank you. Monsieur, can I get you something to drink while you're yes. waiting? Yes, Um, yeah, I'll have a scotch and water. My wife will have a vodka martini, uh, lemon peel, no olive. Yeah, but I can order myself. I'd like a vodka martini, um, lemon peel, and no olive. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have no idea what this surprise is? I do not. Hey, I wonder if she took that stockbroker job I told her about. She doesn't want to be a stockbroker. How do you know? She told me. She did? Yeah, but, you know, we were just talking. Well, something's on her mind, I can tell. Ever since she moved back home. Well, she's only been home a week, Gavin. <gasps> medical school. Maybe it's medical <laughs> school. Oh, 
You've talked to Rebecca Corbin. Doesn't that sound oh, wonderful? Gavin, how do you figure that out? And what about all the science classes she took right before graduation? Honey, she took one course. It was called Ecology for a Sick and Dying Planet. It's hardly a prelude to the operating room. I don't know. Oh, hi, honey. Sorry I'm 17 minutes late. The traffic was murder. And Kevin he's not here yet. Who? Uh, Mom, Dad, uh, I may as well just get to the news. It's been a, a long and difficult decision, but I've decided to become a doctor. A neurosurgeon, actually. I, I've already passed the exams, and I've picked up a residency. In, it's only a mile from the house, so I won't have to leave home. I'm just, I'm so happy to get Anyway, in this class, I, I met this guy, and, well, there's no easy way to say this. Um, we're going to get married. Married? For how long? I mean, married? What? Wait, wait, wait what about medical school? M medical school? Honey, it's just that we're so surprised. We can't wait to meet him. White, white wine, please. And how long have you been drinking white wine? Marriage, white wine. Dad, I'm, I'm 22. Listen, I, I didn't want to bring this on you like this, but where is he? Well, maybe he's out of work. Well, I... he doesn't actually have a job. He, he has a cause. And it's Excuse well... me, sorry, oh. miss, but you have a telephone call from a Mr. Dennis Quenanti. Have you please been arrested? This way, please. Not again. Excuse me. Thanks, Dad. Anyways, it, it looks like he locked himself to a fence outside the Afcon Oil Corporation. For any particular reason? Well, he and his friends, gang against the assault on our world, are opposed to offshore drilling. Gang? Virginia, she's marrying it to a gang? Yeah, they're environmentalists. Avcon oil is drilling off the coast of Ecuador, and several species are in danger, including the speckled blowfish. Oh, right. It was just a demonstration. I mean, they, they really didn't do anything wrong. Well, Rebecca, apparently the police disagree Rebecca. with you. Rebecca! Oh, come. Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh, my God, he's still wearing the fence around his neck. What does he think? It is jewelry? Oh, my God, they look like a cast from Rent. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Corbett. Well, this is an awkward way for us to meet for the first time, but uh, thanks for posting bail. That was cool. And uh, Mrs. Corbett, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. You too, Dennis. So, got the key for those things? Swallowed it. Kind of hurt on the way down, though. Not looking forward to the other end. Cause the, the, you know. Those shoes real leather? Yes. Do you realize that a cow gave its life so that you could walk around in its flesh? I think that same cow gave me a filet last night, but thanks for bringing it up. This is, uh, this is Jessica. Hello. Eddie. What's up? And this is Danny. Don't worry about him. He hasn't spoken much since the explosion. Oh! But... Uh... <laughs> Except that. Dad, can you take us to a locksmith now? How can you stand there flinging paint around the garage when our lives are crumbling down around us? <laughs> crumbling down? Hmm. Is that like Humpty Dumpty? London Bridge? Huh? No, worse. The invasion of the body snatchers. Like he's taken Rebecca's brain and replaced it with the gray matter of some tofu eating altruist. Gavin, I don't like this any better than you do, but. I do know one important thing. What? It's all gonna work out, always does. How can you be such an optimist? Because she's a smart, independent girl whose choices we need to trust. I trust her. I want her to be free-thinking and independent and fun-loving. I just would like her to run things by me first, that's all. Hey! You're gonna get paint on the gaffster. Look! You hit the Mustang. Oh. Can't you paint in the other direction? Oh. <laughs> I guess we should get to work on the guest list. What if the Manson family's available? You know, in India, the parents get to choose the boy their daughter marries. Has its advantages. Well, unfortunately, we can't choose who our daughter falls in love with. But not to worry. I can deal with this. 
You don't deal with this. You respect it. Really, you have to respect the independence that we hope to instill in her. Darling, I, I respect her. I, I just don't want her to make a big mistake. Well, neither do I. But I think the worst thing we can do is try to talk her out of it. I know you don't want to hear this, but I think it's time that we as parents just have to sit back and watch her make her life. Or screw it up. Possibility. You know, I was thinking, this might also be a good time to try to find something for you to get your head around. You know? Something you feel passionate about. Do you have a mind? Hmm. A hobby? Oh. <laughs> no. Well, no. Like when Rebecca left for school and you helped me find mine, art. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Mocha is clearing a wing for you as we speak. Thank you. <laughs> really, I, what can we find that would ding your ling? <laughs> well, you haven't dinged my ling since we were in college. <laughs> How about if we float your boat? <laughs> well, I have a few passionate things on my mind. Do you? Mm. Put paint on your hands. Let's try. Oh, it's all dry. Go clean them. Oh, Kevin, I just had my nails done. I don't want to ruin it with turpentine. It's okay. It's okay. How could you do this to us? I don't obsess. Um, not. Not obsessing. Bruce back memories, done it? Yeah. Why didn't you bring me here today, Dad? Oh. Feel the wind in your face, the romantic sound of the conductor's whistle, mm. the smell of diesel. I want you to like him, Dad. Oh, baby, I don't even know him. Well, he's a wonderful guy. I'm sure he is. I used to love it here so much. You made me bring you here four months in a row before you get on a pony. You know, you were the only one who didn't cry. I actually think I was more frightened than you. <laughs> Can you say mushu pork? <laughs> I mean, does he have plans? Does he have plans for the future? Other than saving the speckled blowfish, I mean. Well, sure. I mean, We've talked about law school, about him becoming a public defender, or representing radical environmentalists like himself. Talk. Your know, whole lives go by while people talk, darling. <laughs> lives go by. I'm 22. <laughs> Have you discussed family or kids? Dad. Baby, you know, I, I, I hire people. I, 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 I read resumes. I see years just go by while people are spinning dreams. I trust in that. Great. Whoa! Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, help! Whoa, whoa. No blood! I got it! I got oh. banker! Oh, tough one! She doesn't know what he's doing! Okay. Three packs a day, but now that I'm wearing these patches, <laughs> I don't think about smoking at all. Not at all. Yeah, the patches are good, but the gum, oh, the gum is great. Freddie, what do you do when your daughter won't listen to reason? Oh, well, that's easy. I just give her money. What? Hmm. Works like a charm. Started when she was three. Coins for cooperation. Well, she got older, and the degree of the infraction increased, so did the dog. You bribe her. I hate that word, but yes. If she were my daughter, I'd give her $10,000 cash to forget him and then maybe throw in a few municipal bonds. Meetings in five minutes. Large conference room. 
Uh, Carol smokes, didn't you? Well, Brady, you just said you don't even think about him anymore. No, 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 I just want to hold it, you know? Remind myself of my commitment. Carol, um, do you have a, a cigarette? I, I, I just want to hold it. I quit. You inspired me. Morning meeting. I want to go to. Who's that? Yep. No. Oh, gorgeous, isn't he? Stanford Business School with Arnes. He's new in electronic transfers. All unattached secretaries have been visibly drooling. What's his name? Brent Fenwick. The third. My better than Quill and Tip. Hmm? Thank you. Mr. Corbett. Call me Gavin. Gavin. Brent Fenwick. Yeah, I know. I just want to take this opportunity to welcome you to Seattle Dominion. If there's anything I can help you with, you just let me know. Thank you. That's very kind of you, sir. You're welcome. Well, listen, i got to go run a staff meeting. Hope to see you in there. Uh, of course. I'd be honored. Thank Good. you, sir. See you later, buddy. I'm not sure. Well, come on, people, it's no secret, all right? I mean, in, in this day and age, the global marketplace, day traders running all over the internet, how does a small brokerage firm continue to exist? Obviously, they will cease to exist. They get swallowed up by bigger guys, unless they're fiscally responsible, they've got new products. What do you think, Brent Fenwick? Who? What are you asking him for? I'm sure everyone here would love to hear your opinion on the subject. Uh, well, um, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Corbett, sir, well, I'd have to agree with you that uh, this sudden influx of, of new capital from these day traders has, has uh, caused not only a highly reactionary stock market, but uh, has also put a great deal of stress on the uh, smaller broker to outperform previous expectations, and thus, it brings me to what I feel is the most important topic of the day, sir. Your daughter. Sir, I love your daughter. And she loves me. And I feel I can make her very happy. I plan to use my education from Stanford University to buy her the future she deserves. One that's compatible with her upbringing. And I feel that... <clears throat> sir? Does that make any sense? Genius. You have a grasp. Of global economics. Very impressive. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, Brent. Huh? <sighs> Refreshing, huh? Let's move on. Now, the uh, large cap funds that we started last year, I believe... Genius! He repeated what you said verbatim. He's a parent with a suit. The kid is something else. Carol, get me cooks in in London. Sucks bumper sticker was kind of a dead giveaway. Kiss me. Hi. Hmm. Don't tell me he lives in that thing. I don't know. Rebecca asked him to dinner. I guess she's trying to make up for last night. Where are they? In the garden. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's giving her a piggyback ride. How long has this been going on? Oh my God. You used to do that. Well, yeah, I had known her at least five years at the time. How you doing, Mr. Corbett? All right. Dennis. Hi. So, hungry? Yes. Yes. Um, Dennis, would you like some sour cream for your pajama? Ah, uh, sorry. I don't do dairy. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh. Um, you didn't want any Chilean sea bass? 
uh, it's, uh, it's the next to be on the endangered species list, so... Uh, oh, really? I thought that was a swordfish. Oh, well, that too. Oh. Besides, uh, I have this rule. I don't eat anything with a face. <laughs> work of art. I can see the influences, Motherwell and Rothko. Who's the artist? Oh, um, actually I painted that. <laughs> wow. So Dennis, you live in a camper. <laughs> Dennis loves to go hiking, Dad. Uh, we're hiking Diablo Trail on Saturday. <laughs> M my dad and I have been hiking that since I was 10. Oh, tough trail. You gotta be in shape. Dennis has climbed a mountain in Peru. Whoa, really? <laughs> So, Mr. Corbett, uh, you're in international banking. Yes, I am. Dennis reads about six newspapers a day. <laughs> Seven if you include the journal. Wow. I'm just fascinated by the effect of monetary transfers on various economies. Could you be more specific? Don't you think the uh, United States government is responsible for successfully increasing the value of its currency and thus weakening the euro dollar and furthermore sir to be totally honest me and your daughter have absolutely nothing in common i mean i'm gonna call off the wedding right now because to be quite frank she's way too good for me well then it's whatever you want sir mr corbett uh, um, <clears throat> dennis wrote a book really what's it about the state of environmental politics Maybe you'd like to read it sometime, Dad? Ah, oh, whew, so busy at work with reading. We would love to. Yeah, just leave it. I'd be happy to. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Becky and I are going to be there in about an hour. Pier 4, slip 35. We're going to go over all the plans of the attack. Hey, Becky's totally in. Makes five plans. It's gonna be a lot easier now to pull it off without hurting anybody or anything. What are you doing? I... What? What? Uh, oh. Becky said I can yeah, use the phone. Of I course, it's fine. That's cool. It's fine. Yeah. Hi. Hi. What? Oh. Um, Dennis's manuscript, Dad. I'm sure you can't wait to read it. Uh huh. Would anybody like some coffee or, or uh, tea or anything? We're gonna anything? we're gonna take off. We're just gonna meet some friends by the waterfront. Oh, thanks for dinner, Mom. Bye, Dennis. Bye. It's good to see you. All right, darling. Yes, I was just sitting here grieving the fate of the speckled blowfish. <laughs> you know, I think he's okay. He's smart, great taste in art. Yeah, well, no, he's way totally cool. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Why are they going to the waterfront in the middle of the night? The waterfront? I kind of, sort of, overheard him talking on the phone. Pier 4, slip 35. You were spying. I was not spying. I was just listening around the corner. He was plotting something. Gavin, I'm sure whatever you heard, you misunderstood. Virginia, listen to me. Anybody at the waterfront after 10 o'clock at night is up to no good. Oh, where's that written? The book of Gavin? It's... So you coming up? My work is calling. I'll be up in a little while. Sure. Yeah. Inside. Let's go. We gotta hurry. Come on. Look at her. Isn't she great? Wow. They were gonna sell this for scrap. Gosh, really? Hey, are you playing with my tapes? No. You better not be messing with my tapes, Eddie. No. Shut up! No! no. Shut up! No. No. Yo, Dennis. Sup, Eddie? Get 
some milk. Okay, I'll be right back. The Akon oil tankers will be passing through here. I want to be here. where we're dropping the environmentally safe red dye and staining the bay. It just sounds to me like we're gonna make a big mess. You hear that? I'm in here. Rebecca home yet? Yeah, she's gone up to bed. I'll be up just a little while. Gavin, why are you standing in the kitchen in the middle of the night in your underwear? Got milk. Oh, good, okay. <gasps> Carol, did you see uh, where Brent Fenwick went? I feel like being sociable. I've worked for you for 18 years, and now you're trying to be sociable. Hey. Hey, Mr. Corbett. How are you? How's it going? Uh, that's good, getting my bearings. I'll make the rounds with you, do some introductions. I'd be honored. You're, you're quite respected in the company. Thank you. Well, thank you. I'll do my best, do my best. I like the way you dress. Nice shirt-tie combo there. Yeah. Thank you. I, I like the way you dress, too. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, you work out? Yep. Uh, join the company, Jim. Hey! Why don't we work out together? Sure. Yeah, that'd be great. You could, uh... You could, you could show me a few pointers, you know? Okay. 
So, young, handsome, strapping lad like you, you must have a significant other. Actually, uh, we, we broke up six months ago. Great. Sir? So how come you guys broke up? What happened? Uh, well, you know, the usual guy, girl thing. <laughs> uh, she wanted a commitment. I, I wasn't sure. So you're not into commitments? Of course, if the right uh, uh, person comes along. Good, you know, because I think it's important to have somebody in your life, someone you can be close to, someone that you can trust, share things with. You know, Brent, I would love to get to know you better. You should come over to my place one night, get to know each other, maybe over a nice bottle of wine. Um, Some night really soon. Sure. Great. That'd be cool. Great. Hey, I'd love to show you my mustache. Mm -hmm. I usually keep it stored, but once in a while, I'll let that chick her out and see what she can do. <laughs> oh. See you later. See ya. Oh, Margaret, um, can I ask you something? Yeah. Mr. Corbett, he is married, right? Of course. I mean, he is... What? Nothing. Okay. Well, I haven't opened this since our wedding night. Your grandma said it would be bad luck. <laughs> she said I was supposed to wait till I had a little girl of my own who needed one. So, here goes. Okay. <laughs> Dad picked it out. <laughs> he became a world-class expert on fabrics. Chiffon and chambray and crepe back satin. Oh, he took over the whole project. <laughs> Didn't that make you mad? Yeah, I wanted to wring his neck. But, you know, on the other hand, he really cared. He wanted this to be the best day of my life. He wanted it to be perfect for me. And it was. It was perfect. It was a little too perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. Uh, what is it, sweetie? It just, it sounds like something Dennis would do. Really? Well, when he proposed to me, he wanted things to be so perfect that he called ahead to the restaurant to pre-order the meal just to make sure they didn't run out of my favorite dish, stuffed portobello mushrooms. He, he already knew. Thank you. Yes, right. Domo arigato soto-san. Oh, you know what? I gotta go. I got another call. I'll call you later. Bye. Hi. Hey. Oh, hi. Uh, 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 Gavin. Gavin. Who was that woman I saw you kissing earlier? My sister. Sister. Great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> nice uh, seeing you. Hey, I'm gonna have a party at my house this Sunday. I would love you to come, alone. Sure. Great. Listen, I'll have Carol give you all the details. Ooh, sharp suit.
party? You want to throw a party? On Sunday? Gavin, it's Friday. No, but honey, look, it'd be nice. I thought I would just invite a few people from the office over. A sort of a morale booster. It's no big thing. A few drinks, a little brunch. Ugh, some of your famous dip. Yeah, what are you up to? What? How can you ascribe a sinister motive to clam dip? Gavin, you haven't given a party since Bush was elected. I'm not talking W. Come on, it would be fun. Oh, you know, it'd be great, too, if Rebecca could come. Rebecca? Yeah, she'd love it. Room full of people twice her age talking about the exchange rate in Bangkok. No, Virginia, where is she? She's in the garden. Why don't you invite her? Good morning. Hi, baby. Oh. So beautiful. It's our twelfth garden, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you were ten. Wow. You came out here and you were standing in the middle of that garden, mm -hmm. a packet of seeds you had ripped open. Your eyes were closed. You were twirling around, seeds just flying in every direction uh, possible. <laughs> and you taught me how to put them in little rows. Hmm. Everything okay with you? Huh? Yeah? Good. You tell me though, right? Mm -hmm. If anything was wrong, if you were not feeling well or in trouble or planning to blow up anything. What? What? I'm just asking. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Sure, Dad. Just asking. All right, so hmm. I'm having a party on Sunday. I would love you to come. You what? <laughs> You're having a party? Why do people stutter when I say that? Yes, what? I'm having a party. I'm a party kind of guy. <laughs> Get down, Ariba, Ariba, please. You're giving a party at your house. You, a party at your house. People talking casually. That's not you. What do you mean? I'm a very casual person, Brady. with it being outside all of a sudden. Ah, great outdoors. Can't get enough of it. Uh -oh. Hi, Mr. Corbett, sir. Brent? I have a great deal of respect for you. And I want you to know that I am open to the world in all its complexities. But before I accept this invitation to your house this weekend, I, I need to tell you, I'm not... I don't... I mean, it's not that you're not a good-looking man. I mean, you are a good-looking man, and you're a good-looking man, too, but I just... I'm 100% man. Man. Guy. Just wanted you to come over and meet the family. I have a daughter about your age. <laughs> oh. Oh, a daughter. Oh, yeah. Thank you, that'd be, thank you. I'm delighted. Maybe the decaf, Brent. What is this? It's called tall food. All the top chefs are doing it. It combines cuisine and architecture. But I like clam dip. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Come on, Gavin, relax. It's a party. People are always fashionable. There. Yeah, well, two minutes I can understand, but five minutes. Would you get that, please? Yes. Hello? Mr. Corbett, sir? Yeah, yeah, who's this? It's Brent Fedwick, sir. Brent, what's wrong with you? You sound like you got a bucket over your head. Uh, uh, that's very funny, sir. I think I've come down with the flu or, or something. You can't do that. Is a fever of 103 bad? But, Brent, we're expecting you. I just don't think I'm gonna make it, sir. You have to. Is it really that important, sir? Yes. Yes, yes. I mean, you are important, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll try. Good, good, hurry along. We're gonna have tall food. Great. Anything else can go wrong. Gavin, watch the eyes. Oh, oh, oh honey. Was that the doorbell? Mm. 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 Mm.
amazing but true, I was a semi-finalist of the 1962 Pickup Sticks Championship. Ah. Mm. Strategy and technique. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, it couldn't possibly be the food. It's so user-friendly. Don't they feel like they're at work? Maybe you should put out a few computers. If it's any worse, I'm going to suggest charades. Nice party, Dad. That might be Brent. Who? Brent. Who? Brent. Hi. Ah. 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 You. Oh. Oh. Um. Ah. Uh, this is my wife, Virginia. Hi. My daughter, Rebecca. <coughs> Rebecca, this is uh, Brent Fenwick the third. Are you okay? Oh, oh, yeah, oh, he's fine. Just got a little. Marcy, <laughs> get him a drink. You kids go have some fun. <laughs> Movie. Four words. Uh huh. Press way. Smoke. Mm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Smokey and the bandit. Yes. Under the volcano. Don't you people read? Rebecca. Rebecca. Yeah. 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 I'm really I'm really sorry about this. Oh no 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 no. Don't be silly. Yeah. I'm I'm surprised you even came. Hey, you know what? I think I think I might have some Pepto Bismol in my travel case. Okay, I'll be right back. Rebecca? Yeah. I don't know, but I'm aesthetically stuffed. I think I'll just drink. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Oh, hi, Daddy. Is, um, Brent up here with you? Yeah, Oh, yeah. that's nice. What's he doing? He's throwing up. <coughs> Great party, sir. <coughs> <coughs> Thanks for flushing. You didn't have the tall food by any chance, did you? Virginia! On my summer vacation, we had a picnic at Grandma's house, and we had A, an apple, B, baked beans, C, caramel, D, Dutch chocolate, E, escargot, F, filter cigarettes. Oh. All right. Thanks. On my summer vacation at Grandma's, I had a picnic. I had A, apple, B, baked beans, C, What a surprise. Becky invited me. Dennis! Sorry I'm late. I was needed at a sit-in. Oh. Are they still sitting? Sure they can do without you? Dennis! Hey, Becky. Hi. Oh. Sir, I'm really sorry, but I think I'm gonna go home. I think I'm growing a fever blister. If it's all the same to you, Dad, Dennis is taking me out for dinner. Yeah, well, tear yourself away. <laughs> See you Monday. Yeah. Have fun. All right, tomorrow's a work day. Chop, chop, out of here. Chop, chop. Gavin, Gavin. Bye, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, bye. Oh, yeah, you Bye. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. Oh. Bye. Jim, stay alert, stay alive. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. Good night, good night. Good night. I'll Thanks see you. Good night. Hey, would anybody like some food? Okay. Right. We have lots of food. No, yes. It won't fit in the refrigerator. Keep moving. So, Don't bye. punch up. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Boy, talk about a good time. They just hated to leave. <laughs> Well, I think the party went pretty well, you know, dry run, first time. 
I'm gonna try it again, you know? Practice makes perfect. Can I, Good night, Brady. Brady. You gonna want some help? No. Uh, well, reluctantly, I take my leave. You sure you don't want some help? No. Yeah. Go unravel some food. I've never spent a weekend quite like this. Rebecca seems to get along with that Brent fellow, huh? This whole party was a setup, wasn't it? What setup? No. But they did seem to hit it off. He was throwing up, Gavin. She gave him Pepto Bismol. Gavin, you've got to stop controlling your daughter's life. Well, I'm not. She's just so young. We were young. Yeah, but well, that's different. Her parents approved of me. Huh? What do you mean? They didn't approve of me? Well, they love you now, but yeah, at the time, they had their doubts. Doubts? Yeah. About me? Why? They thought you were too controlling. Uh, controlling. You know what? I'm not. I am not controlling. So? You don't like it? No. I love it. Uh, maybe we should have gone to a restaurant. What restaurant could have a better view than this? Not even the Space Needle has a better view. Come here. Can you imagine what this was like before we destroyed it? What? I don't know about this whole halt the assault in the ocean thing. I mean, the red dye, the flares, and the bullhorns just sounds... I don't know. I mean, what if you get arrested again? What if I do? Well, how's that going to look on your law school application? Law school? Who said anything about law school? You did. Not as fait accompli. This is a thought. It's something I might do. Well, lives go by, Dennis. Lives go by when you're making decisions. Beck, this isn't you. This is your father talking. Well, I happen to think he has a point. As quaint and functional as your trailer might be, you, you don't want to live in it for the rest of your life. I don't or you don't? No. I don't particularly want to live in a trailer for the rest of my life. You still believe in me, don't you? Oh, God, sometimes I don't think you see the big picture. The big pi Maybe I've just realized there's a little bit more to life than being all tucked into your nice little bed, your nice house with recessed lighting, and your fridge full of imported cheese. Maybe I have a few things to think about. You mean us, Beck? Just say it. Yeah, maybe. This is great. You know, the timing is perfect. Look, why don't you just take me home, okay? Love to. Just hang on a second. Don't talk, talk anymore. Talk. No. Please, why can't you just talk? Oh. Come on, oh. Beck. Oh, please. Just talk for a minute. No, not at all. You didn't wake me. Are you okay? No, particularly. What's wrong? Nothing. Rebecca. <laughs> it's Dennis. What? Go we had a fight. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> I don't think we're getting married. <laughs> oh, baby. Are you sure? <laughs> It's not that I don't believe in what he does, because I do. It just, just like you said, I just don't know when he's going to get his life together. You know something? Procrastination can be addictive, just like alcoholism, unless he has the conviction to change himself from within, inside and out. There's nothing you're going to be able to do to influence him. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, listen up, sweetheart. I know it feels terrible, but just know your mom and I are here for you, no matter what. Please, Dad. Okay, good night. Sweetheart. What are you doing? Well, I happen to believe that bad habits are addictive. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Ah. Oh, sorry. 
Virginia Dot, what are you? Again, I'll, I'm gonna rent a sailboat. All right, make a picnic lunch, invite a few people. It'll be great. No, you could sail. No, there's a lot you don't know about me, Brady, my man. Mm -hmm. Oh, Brett. Good morning, Brett. Ah, oh, good morning. Are you feeling better? Ah, uh, yes, I am. And uh, thank you very much for inviting me to your party. Mm. I, I really enjoyed meeting your daughter. She's a very intelligent, lovely young woman. Yes, she is. You know what? I'm thinking about taking a boat out this weekend. Do a little sail around the bay. One of you like to join us? Ooh, that'd be nice. Yes, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'd be honored. Thank you. Great. Brady, do me a favor. Go uh -huh. start the meeting. I'll be right there. Aye, aye, Captain. Trying to adjust his medication. <laughs> so let me let me bring up the speed number back a little bit. My beautiful daughter. You know, right. Well, I think that about covers it. Listen, I just want to let you know I appreciate it. I look forward to spending a lot of time with you, uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, sir. Me too, sir. Hey. Hi, Mr. Corbett. Huh? So. Oh, wait. Imagine, we've been together all these years, and I never knew you could sail. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Look at this. It's, I mean, it's made for the water. You know, I think there's a sea dog buried deep inside of me. Get out of the open water, smell that salt, raise the giblets, braise your flounder. I'm trying to do what you told me, to find my passion, find what dings my ling. <laughs> and where is everybody? Look, I said 10 o'clock, it's 10.15. Yeah, well, not everybody wears an atomic watch, honey. Oh, God. She's heartbroken. Well... Uh, not for long. Morning. Hi, Brent. Or I guess it's, um, ahoy. Ah. Sorry I'm late, sir. Oh, 15 minutes is leisure time. Yes, sir. Hi, Mrs. Corbett. Hi, Brent. What a surprise. Uh, Rebecca, look who's here. Hi. Hi. What? Nothing. Uh, hi! Well, good afternoon. Mm. And where have you been? Uh, learning the lyrics to Gilligan's Island. You sure you know how to sail? Yes, I was on the Harvard sailing team, Brady. Oh. It's going to be a wonderful day. Lift. Uh -huh. That barge. Aye, aye, Captain. Come on, on board. Uh, permission to come aboard, Captain. Oh, uh, permission granted. Uh, barge. What are you pulling? Which one? The biggest one out here. The little one I think has to come out. This one. This is the front one. The front. Uh, 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 uh. I think I got to wrap it around this one. Gavin, come down from there. I'm going to try and bring it in. of the Coast Guard to tow us in like that, wasn't it, Mr. Harvard Sailor, man? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you the truth. I was manager of the team. Huh? 
whose duties primarily consisted of what? Swabbing the decks? Listen, I wanted to, um... Thank you for playing uh, Florence Nightingale the other night. And today, too. Cheers. Uh. Um. You've got... What? You've got a pink mustache. Oh. <laughs> do you do this kind of thing a lot? As a family, I mean? No, no. But if we're lucky, maybe my dad will take out a saxophone later. SS lactose intolerant. What is that, a garbage scout? No, that's Dennis. I think I'm developing a tick. What? A tick? Not a part of my cheek. Right there, it's just moving involuntarily. Isn't that like the first sign of a nervous breakdown? Maybe Rebecca and Brent aren't cut out for each other. Brady, they were dancing together. They were getting along fine until an environmentalist showed up. Now. Yeah. Sorry to bite into important family business, but you wanted to get that important business business letter into Baxter in the next mail, right? <laughs> Gav. See you later. Christy, uh, that cost report you did was absolutely fabulous. We're not doing the letter today, are we? Carol, sit down. I want to ask you a question. Come on, come on, sit down. When you met your husband, what sealed it? I mean, was there a single perfect moment when you decided, yes, I want to spend the rest of my life with this man. When he gave me the pork chops. He's a butcher. Oh. Oh, yeah. Then there was that romantic dinner we had. Wine. Beautiful view. <laughs> Speaking of which, your dinner with that VP from Frankfurt canceled had to fly back. Do we still have the reservations? Yes. Keep them. And uh, get on your phone. Call Brent Fenwick. Tell him I need to see him. It's urgent. his messages. Oh. Dad hates him, doesn't he? Oh, no, 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 that's not it. Well, yeah, that is it. <laughs> no, it's, it's just because he loves you and he's flawed. I mean, we're all flawed, but your dad's especially <laughs> flawed. So I guess you just have to understand that whatever he does, however misguided it is, he does it with pure intentions. <laughs> He's crazy, isn't he? <laughs> Hello? Hi, darling. Listen, I wonder, are you available for an early dinner at the tea house? My German lender had to fly back to Frankfurt. I don't know, God, I just don't really... Oh, come on. 
Do you good. Get you out of the house. Six o'clock. Huh? Okay. Good. Bye, baby. You honestly come in here, and I just, uh, you'll have to excuse me. I got to go. Hi. <laughs> Reservation for Corbett? Corbett. Yes, Cor uh, Corbett. Uh, Corbett, right this way, please. <laughs> Mr. Corbett's table is right down this way. There's my dollar. Please, this way. Hi, baby. I hope you don't mind. I, I invited Brent along. Is that okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Actually, it's okay. Hi. Hi. You know what? I actually pulled him out of the office tonight, working overtime. But the old saying is true. All work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. You want something to drink? Yeah. Okay. Could we have Mr. Corbett? You have a telephone call? Hmm. Well, huh. I'll be right back. Sorry. Excuse me. How are you? I'm good. You? Good. Now, over by the window, she has a blue blossom. Something romantic. It's urgent. Now, go, go, go. Have you, uh, have you eaten here before? Yes, yes. Ah. Music's nice. I get a bonus for this. Yeah, right, 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 right. Well, this is embarrassing. I have to go to the office for an emergency meeting. Is there a problem, sir? Well, nah, there's a glitch with some foreign account. Well, I should probably help you with that. Oh, no, no, no. Stay, stay. You work too hard. Take the night off. Brady's already jumped in. I'm just going to go and finish it off. You know? You don't mind, do you, darling? No. Good. Salvage the evening. Dinner's already paid for. Have fun. Okay. Well, it looks like he built both of us into this. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know. That was very nice. Thank you. I didn't know. It. I didn't know that. That's lovely. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was beautiful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sloppy chili dog. You gotta take big bites. They demand it. It's big, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Oh, holy <laughs> cow. All right. I stand hey. corrected. Yeah. That is a chili dog bite. <laughs> Here. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Sorry, I... It's okay. Did you have jalapenos on yours? Mm-hmm. It's hot. How was dinner? Had something good? Like filet of ex-fiance? I know what you're doing, Gavin. It won't work. You can't run her life like one of your junior executives. I know that. What did we talk about the other day? Not to meddle. And? I meddled. Right. Don't be mad at me. I love you and I love her. I love you too. This line would be better if it was a little flat. Gavin, listen to me. You try to run her life, she will resent you forever. I'm not trying to run anybody's life. Oh. 
Okay, there's lasagna in the refrigerator. As I am sure you never got to the eating part of dinner, am I right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Don't touch that. So, how was your evening? Night, Dad. Hey. The State of Environmental Politics by Dennis Quillington. My story begins like anyone else in a country that doesn't value its resources. I was born to a typical red and blue man. Man, I got that old family snowed. Mr. Corbett thinks I'm like the second coming, and his daughter, Rebecca, totally crazy about me. And she's a hottie, too. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Well, you assume me side. So I just heard that Rebecca may be spending the weekend with Brent. Huh. His family has a cabin in one of the San Juans. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Huh. What's the matter? Well, I guess there's no point in trying to hide it. Okay, uh... I went to the mail room, you know, to uh, uh, mail a letter. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, there's more. What? Brent was there. And uh, <laughs> he really thinks he's got it made. So I figured by Christmas, pop the question, get a big promotion, and break off the engagement. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, and jump to an even bigger job before this place gets swallowed up by the big boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brent has got a plan. Propose to the boss's daughter, Get a big promotion, and then leave her at the altar. fight against the decay of the ozone layer. It's a battle against everything that has come to be known as economic growth. So what do you think so far? <clears throat> Sorry, Gab, it's just not happening for me. Brady, it's not supposed to be a page turner. It's supposed to be a declaration of a young man's passion. Do you have to smoke that thing? Well. If you're referring to my free will, aside from the mitigating circumstances of the addictive qualities of nicotine and the tobacco industry constantly bombarding us with their omnipresent advertising, no, I'd have to say no. Sorry I asked. 
Isn't there an explosion, a death, some sex? You know, I never saw beyond the bike lock. What? Brady, you're gonna hear me say three words you've never heard me say before. I made a mistake. That would be four words, Gav. And what about the time you converted grain futures and we had crop rot? And what about the time you all right, bought fine, euros? All right, fine, fine. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What am I gonna do? You know what? I turned her off to the one she wants now. I think she's interested in the one I don't think she wants. Translation? Brent Fenwick. Uh -huh. I should have left well enough alone. Now I gotta figure out a way to unfix it. Uh -huh. Hey, Rebecca's been after me to hike Diablo Trail with her. Ooh, Diablo Trail sounds like a western. No, 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 it's a really, really tough trail. I mean, Rebecca and I have been hiking it for years. And she hiked it with Dennis. Well, this is great because she can benefit by comparing and contrasting. You're such a romantic. Rebecca and I, we can hike that trail in our sleep. We leave Brent in the dust. Mm. Well, he doesn't seem like the outdoor type to me. I just want to get a few things together. Gavin, it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Are you out of your mind? How else do you expect to beat the traffic? Oh, right. I forgot how crowded those mountain roads get on Sunday morning. All right, I put these in the freezer. We need those. We don't need lights. Lights? Why do we need lights for it? Dark. We want sardine sandwiches, right? Sardine sandwiches. Oh, yum. Yeah. Oh, do you think Rebecca will come with us? Oh, honey, Rebecca will do anything you ask. That's part of the problem. And you, what about you? You haven't hiked that trail in five years. I'm sorry, but your back can go out again. Virginia, my back is fine, all right? I can hike that trail in my sleep. Don't worry. Ow! Ow! shame about that audit coming in at the last minute like that. But uh, we'll see you bright and early. You still got directions to the campground? Yes, sir. Okay, bye. Good night, sir. Are you talking to me? What? No. No, no. I was just... Uh... <sighs> ah, dear. Oh, Gavin, how can you go hiking in that condition? No, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay, listen, guys, Brent had to work pretty late last night, so it's possible that he won't be there quite perfectly on time. It'll be fine. We'll get started. Hey, good morning. I, uh, I took the liberty of making some breakfast. We got bacon and eggs, fruit, huevos rancheros. Good morning, Mrs. Corbett. Hi, Brent. How you doing? Rebecca? Hi. Is, uh, something wrong with your foot, sir? Oh, <laughs> no, nah, nothing a little hike won't cure. Let's go! Yeah. Setting quite the pace, Mr. Huh. Corbett. I'm gonna carry him down a mountain. Come on, honey, we better go home. No, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just gonna sit over here and rest. You sure? You guys just go ahead and eat. I'm fine. So, uh, who's hungry? Let's see. We oh, got yeah. roast beef, we got turkey, we had tuna. Oh my god, 
this allergy to bees. Bees! Um, honey, no moo, no, sir! Bees! Honey, oh, wait! Oh, 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 That well, don't you think? <laughs> For those of you who aren't aware, Brent saved Mr. Corbett's life Sunday afternoon. He's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. He's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. <laughs> so now he's a saint. Good work, Carol. Brady, I think I just heard the cash register ring. Hallelujah! A convert! How much are you gonna give her? Him! What? Look, he wants to marry the boss's daughter, right? Get a big promotion? What if I offer him a shortcut? I offer him a big job, maybe a VP slot at one of our branch offices, if he drops Rebecca. We'll go to the gym. Hi. Right. Get him into a conversation. Hey, Mr. Corbett! Hi. Right. Casually making the offer, get it on tape. I haven't seen you here before. Ah, uh, right. Well, you know, turning over a new leaf. That he's willing to drop Rebecca for the promotion? End of problem. <laughs> You're sneaky. <laughs> uh, exercise is good for a man your age. It's great for the heart. Here we go! Hmm. <sighs> yeah. the hang of it, sir? So, Brent, you must have a pretty ambitious agenda for your uh, future with the company. Well, no more than any other worker, sir. We should talk. We've got... Oh, heavy metal, kid! Oh. Yes, sir. Come on over here, sir. Move to the next one. Next one's red. All right. Take that. Come on, sir. Onto this bag. Brad? Yes, sir. Brad? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I it just, is, sir. I'm... Holy cow, sir. Are you okay? I know CPR. I don't need CPR. I just wanted to say... What? What What'd you want to say, sir? Sir, what is it? I, it's, it's, I don't, what? um, never mind, I give up, you win. Did you get it? No, I didn't. What, you couldn't get within recording distance? Yeah, I did. So what went wrong? Just didn't do it. Uh, I don't get it. Um, are you sure you didn't exercise yourself into a mini stroke? Mr. Corbin. Oh, hi. Dennis. Um, hi. Come on in. Sit down. It's okay. I'm going to stand. Okay. Uh, well, listen, about your manuscript. I'd like it back. Yeah, sure. It's at my house. Okay, if you could just mail it to me, I'd appreciate it. I read it. I was very impressed. I mean, I don't agree with all your tenants. You know, but... there was a time when I really really cared what you thought about me. 
Look, I don't want to be disrespectful here, but I know you don't like me, and it's okay. Because frankly, me and you aren't ever gonna see eye to eye. Your world is wrapped up in this neat little package that I don't fit in, because I'm too radical for you. I don't. Do you have any ink for that fountain pen? Yeah, of course, it's in the little bottle right next to it. Okay, pick it up. Just pick it up. Now go pour it into your fish tank. Pour it in. Well, that'd be kind of stupid, wouldn't it? All the fish would die. So what makes it okay for Avcon Oil? You could just say hi to Beck for me. God knows she doesn't want to talk to me now. You really must think I'm just a interfering, meddling father, huh? No, I don't. I think you love your daughter. I do, very much. So do I. So much. That if she thought she'd be happier without me. I'd let her go. You know, of course, you only have yourself to blame for this. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe Brady misunderstood. You know, he's so dramatic. What time is he coming by? 10 o'clock, he's gonna pick her up. So she's decided to spend the weekend with him? I don't know. I don't know. Where is she? Oh, don't even think I'm not, I'm just... In my office working. Where's Brent? Sent him home. You're not um, going with the weekend? No. Why? Because I love Dennis. Um, I'm glad. Are you? Yes. Because my daughter made her own decision without the interference of her meddling father. Oh, 
What oak? Looks like you could use some help. Hey. Come here. What? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Come on, come on. One for old time's sake. Come on. Are you sure? I'm, you kidding me? Okay. Come on. Get up. Okay. Get up. Okay. You ready? Help. Yes. Are you okay? Got okay. it? Okay. Yes. All right. Get up. Yeah! <laughs> For an occasion party. What are you planning for the wedding? Versailles? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> oh, isn't that your daughter out there dancing with uh, Eddie the Key? Hi, Dad. So. <laughs> Better get your checkbook out, Brady. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so, honey, honey, Dad. can I talk to you yeah. <laughs> Just. Oh, hi. Thanks for everything, Mr. Corbett. Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> hey. <laughs> and thank you, Mrs. Corbett. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mom. Good fun. Come on, baby. Let's go. Oh, right. Mmm. 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 Christy. I'm going to give you a hand with that. I know what you want. You know what you want. So why don't you just go ahead and ask me out and save us both the embarrassment? I just want a little secondhand smoke. Oh. Um, but... Drink? Ah, yes, please, on scotch and water. My wife... My wife will order for herself. Actually, my husband knows what I want. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Well, it seems like everything's turned out fine after all. Okay, Virginia was right. All I can say is that I have managed to subdue my controlling nature. That is, until the actual wedding occurs. But I've got six months to get over that. May I have the honor? Oh, yes. 